Hello there, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to learn how to give a good oral presentation. Think, plan, and talk. Preparing an oral presentation. Giving an oral presentation or talk as part of an, uh, your academic course is similar in many ways to preparing an essay. Remember, introduction, body, and conclusion. The following guidelines apply to most types of talk. Follow these steps. Number one, review guidelines. Number two, writing your talk. Number three, producing notes. Number four, preparing visual aids. Number five, practicing your talk. And number six, preparing for questions. The first one, review guidelines. Well, number one, check the guidelines and how much time you have, you have been given. Number two, think about the purpose of your talk. Is it to inform, to entertain, or to persuade your audience? Number three, think about your audience. Who are they? How much do they already know about your topic? How much information do you need for your speech? Number four, decide on the topic, if you don't know it already. If you do, decide on the specific area you will present. Pay attention to the time you have available. Number five, collect your ideas and gather more information if you need to. Number two, write in your talk. Number one, make notes on what you want to include. Think about what you must tell your audience, what you should tell them, and what you would like to tell them if you have time. Number two, create an outline or a plan of your talk. Consider writing an introduction, a mid-talk, and a conclusion to your presentation. Number three, if you decide to follow the guidelines of an essay, do not read it when you give your presentation. Instead, make notes based on what you wrote and discuss them using your own words. Are you with me? I hope so. Let's take a look at number three, producing notes. Make notes in English for ESL students on cards like this ones to use them while speaking. Open with an introduction to the title and an overview of what you want to say. So these are examples of cards I would use when giving a presentation about learning English. Well, the first um, thing that I would do, I would show slide one and I would introduce myself by saying, good morning, everyone. My talk today examines how students learn English. I will give um, an overview also, and I will say something like, I tend to outline three important points about learning English. So moving on to slide two, I would show the slide two and I would say, the first point I want to discuss is how a student learns a language and I will discuss how the student learns a language. A further point is where the student learns English. Is it in their own country or in an English-speaking country? And I will talk about learning where the student learns English. Let's take a look at producing notes. Number one, try to get the attention of the audience at the beginning, starting with a joke a surprising fact or a personal anecdote. Number two, close with a summary and an invitation for people to ask questions. Like, do you have any questions? Number three, some people find it useful to write out the whole introduction and conclusion. This depends on how you feel prepared about the topic. So, number four, preparing visual aids. And this is the fun part. Number one, Visual aids help you to communicate your talk to the audience. Number two, if using PowerPoint or Keynote, your writing and diagrams must be large and clear. Number three, do not put too much information on each slide. Number four, 
If you use posters or pictures, make sure they are clear and readable from a considerable distance. Number five, avoid writing or drawing things on the board during your talk. Considering I'm giving a presentation on learning English, I will show some slides, and these are some examples. Learning English, so that, that will be the title, and the three main points that I will talk during my presentation. So listening, reading, and speaking. Then on my second slide, I will show examples of listening, of course, because the first one is listening, right? So listening, what can you listen? Well, you can listen to movies, you can listen to podcasts, you can listen to audiobooks, okay? And I will give some examples of each. So movies like you'll really enjoy. For example, I enjoyed uh, watching Joker, for example. So you can watch that movie with subtitles in English and in English. Podcasts, there are tons of podcasts available to learn English. And audiobooks, well, um, I'm reading a lot of books right now, so um, instead of reading them, I like to, you know, listen and at the same time follow the book. So listen and reading. That is an excellent exercise to learn English. And here Mr. P says, use notes, not sentences. Just like in these examples. So let's take a look at practice in your talk now. Well, number one is practice, of course. The more you practice, the more you feel confident. Number two, try practicing alone first, trying to keep track of time and focusing on the topic of presentation. Number three, ask a friend to listen to your presentation. Ask them to check your tone of voice. Is it loud? Is it clear? Is it low? Number four, use your dictionary or online sites to check your pronunciation, vocabulary and grammar. So preparing for questions. Number one, try to predict some of the questions your audience may ask you and practice your answers. So how, how did you learn English? If we're giving a presentation on English learning. What, what did you learn while you were in Canada? Why, why is that English is the most difficult language in the world? Well, these are some questions that your audience might ask you, right? So let's take a look at some useful language that you can use during your oral presentation. In your introduction, you can start by saying, obviously, your name, and then, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My talk today examines, hello everyone, Today I'm going to discuss or to talk about explaining structure. In this presentation, I intend to outline or I will discuss the main features of introducing each point. I want to begin by looking at the first, the second, the third point. If you want to clarify something, you would say something like, in other words, that is to say, what I mean is, if you want to change subject, then you would say something like, so I have discussed, now I'd like to turn to, moving on to the next point. When you conclude your presentation, you can say something like, I have talked about, in my case, learning English. To sum up, or to summarize, in conclusion, I believe, etc. Last suggestions. Before giving your presentation, you must feel confident about your English, if English is not your first language. Practice your pronunciation. Be fully prepared about the topic. Learn how to answer possible questions. And most important of all, rehearse. Practice. So that's it for today. If you have any questions about oral presentations, please type them under the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you liked the lesson, click on the like button, please. And if you want to share it with your friends or with your class or with your classmates, please do. Having said that, have a nice day and see you 
the next lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.